Welcome back. In this video, we are going to prepare profit and loss statement from this data using pivot tables. So first of all, uh, let us click anywhere in this table and let us go to insert and insert a pivot table. We are going to do that on the new sheet and let us click on OK. And in this sheet, uh, now you know what we have to drag down in these fields. Let us first go to our chart of accounts and let us see that at what level what values have been defined. So if I go back to my chart of accounts, you can see that, you know, in the second column, I mean in the report column, we have defined that if this account relates to P&L or balance sheet. So this is the uh, point where we will be using the report option of pivot table uh, to filter only the profit and loss statement values. And then you can see if I scroll down, you can see that in the profit and loss, we can define that at multiple levels. Broadly speaking, we have the class level where we have the trading account then we have operating and non-operating and interest and tax and here we have you know in the subclass uh, the all the data has been further split into the further details so for example for trading account we have sales and cost of sales for operating account we have operating expenses as well as depreciation and amortization for operating expenses we have sales and marketing marketing sorry sales and distribution marketing administration and this way you know for marketing we have multiple accounts for administration we have multiple accounts so you can see that if i want to structure my profit and loss account decently i will have to use all of these levels so let us go to our sheet 2 and let us define the values so first of all let me bring in this report option in the filters and in this filter option i will tell my system that i should only be using the profit and loss values here and now i will go into the system and i will drag down the class and now you can see that you know we have a broader structure of profit and loss count so i will also quickly bring down the values that is basically defined in my gl with the name of amount so i will drag, drag down here and now you can see that we have our rough pnl sketch and the next thing that i want to do is that i want to split my data into three years as i had three years in my data so i will drag down this year field from here to the columns and now you can see we have our data that has also been split into three years and these numbers are not appearing as it should be so i will go here into the value field settings and format and i will say please use the number format don't bring in any decimal and please use comma separator and this will make my values appear nicely here and after that i also want to you know sort the values correctly so trading account should be appearing on the top followed by operating account followed by you know non-operating account and finally i should have interest and tax and now this is the time that we can bring in our further values as well i mean the subclass etc but before that i don't want to uh, you know present this grand total for the columns for that i will go to design option and i will say grand total should only appear for the you know uh, for the columns only so that is how it should be working okay now let us go back to our pivot table and let us drag down the subclass and then subclass 2 as well but before that you know let us again for sort the values correctly so this is the manual sorting that you will have to do and after that i think this is fine this area is fine so we don't have to do any sorting again so let me bring in the subclass 2 as well and now let us bring in the account as well and finally if you want you can bring in the sub account as well but before that you know uh, let me uh, you know expand uh, up these values and there is no point of uh, presenting these values again and again so i will uh, you know collapse the fields that are not needed anymore so you know uh, this area should be fine but you know in the sales and distribution there is only one ledger so there's no point of presenting that and for the moment i am you know collapsing marketing as well and let us do the same for this one as well and similarly there's no point of repeating the same line again and again so let us spend a minute here and now you can see we have a nicer cleaner pnl appearing here very easily in very simple steps so that is it my pnl is ready
Now, of course, we want to present the grand totals here. This is basically the net profit. But if you don't like these subtotals of trading operating, you can definitely go to the design option and you will say that do not show subtotals and you know all of those subtotals have disappeared now.